Hello guys, welcome back to the content. We're gonna play some clips. Then I'm gonna get my reaction, man. Let's get to it. These niggas are lame, yo. Like the men that are like actually amazing entrepreneurs and educated and financially, you know, lit. Y'all lame, like for real. And you know what? And, and people not, I say what I want and I do what I want respectfully. So I'm just li like, the message is really for them like, salute you king like i'm proud of you but you was so lame coming up that now you're somebody and you're leading with that and a lot of these guys are leading with it wrong each one teach one like i'm putting people on like you a pretty girl you might not have the best confidence y'all putting us all together we gonna boost you up we gonna make you like come on like i give away free mentorship all the time even though it costs but when god puts it on my heart i'm giving grace and i think a lot of these guys are just like you know like their insecurity showing their high behind their accolades and should always make a way i feel like i'm not gonna work my hands to the to the bones to provide i'm not gonna work 16 to 20 hours a day or a week to provide for my family you're the man you have the penis go get a job get three jobs my man has two jobs go get seven jobs and two side hustles to buy me the things that i want because i'm a woman and should always make a way. I feel like I'm not gonna work my hands to the to the bones to provide. I'm not gonna work 16 to 20 hours a day or a week to provide. New one, Valentine, go to YouTube, you know, Why you don't call him? See? Because I'm the breadwinner. That's number one. Oh. How dare you? There's nice way to say it oh. you understand that i make the most honestly second i am a physician a practicing physician that's doing extremely well mm. it would be first. foolish for me to leave my career as a physician my businesses that i own and operate to come to the dr and live a poverty lifestyle and yeah. let's be honest oh. <laughs> what are we talking about Ooh. You can't provide for me. I have to make my own money. Mm. Mm. I can't mm. live off a couple hundred dollars. Of my, like, you cannot provide for me, so why would I leave the United States? Ugh. An attractive woman. And when I say attractive, I don't just mean attractive. I, I mean even just sexually confident. I mean, what an unbelievably lucrative career that is. Like, I do divorces for people that you know, a woman walks out with two, three hundred million dollars. He was an analyst at Goldman Sachs who built a hedge fund and then sold it and then used his trading algorithm to build it up to five hundred million dollars. She was hot. Wow. And slept with him for a while and then stopped and started sleeping with other people and playing tennis and having Botox. And she's going to get half like that's fucking incredible. Like, do you know what he no, had to do to get wild. that? And what she had to... That is what... No, that is wild. He really, like, put that in my... Like, put that into perspective. Somebody can literally just be hot. They can literally just look good. And their life can change in an instant. But a dude has to work his whole freaking life. And what they usually do is they just pour the bread back into the females. They pour the bread into the females. Like, yo, people ruin their lives over this female. Like, people will literally ruin their lives over females. I've been saying this, bro, but this is a prime example right here. Like, damn. This is this is the, the problem with a lot of things that's going on right now, man, in our society. Um, especially as a pastor, bro, you're really taking in so many different things you're taking in so many different uh, perspectives right you're able to truly uh, understand exactly what you want to do how you want to do it and how you want to go about it um but a lot of guys they just they bsing man they playing around they're not getting to the bag they're not focused you know what i'm saying and this is just an overall situation that when we get into these topics man you start to really truly see man look man it's not what you think it is. And as you see society slowly deteriorate, right, over time, you got to put yourself in position so that you can live a fruitful life. Man. 
not even just about the woman it's about the whole the whole thing you don't ever have to, like think about this bro you don't ever have to experience winter ever again in your life if that's what you want to do <laughs> think about that every day of your life like how many people could actually say that in the history of mankind not even talking about just modern day not even talking about modern day we talking about in the history of mankind even kings had to experience harsh uh weather <laughs> even kings had to man. he was a king in eastern europe you know some type of count or duke you had to experience harshness you don't even got to experience that you don't got to experience so many things man right right come on man let's go to the next video what kind of world do we live in where a normal regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date i'm going to a guy's house but i'm coming from a guy's house and i got his nectar on my pants why is it so difficult for you to ask us any of us on a date so a lot of guys nowadays think that they're the ones that are supposed to be taking her on dates he should definitely be holding your shopping bag going into a restaurant he should definitely be opening the restaurant door for you when you go to a bar who's supposed to buy women drinks men are do you see that as often think about when you go to a bar who's supposed to buy women drink buy buy women drinks i'm old school you know i want a man that takes charge, opens doors for me, pulls out the seat for me. I had a guy come over after lunchtime, but um, now that I got my car back, I think I, I'm gonna go to a guy's house. One of my regulars, one of the boys on the restaurant. Guys just don't approach anymore. Why, why do you guys not do that? Why do you not walk up to women anymore? And, uh... Bruh. Do y'all see this? Yo, I'm gonna be honest, bros, bros, listen. If you're dealing with a woman right now in 2023 and you don't have full control over the situation, you're going to get you're going to get destroyed, bro. Like, bro, this is bad. This is why passport bros exist. But we really getting into like understanding, like, yo, this is bad. It's not even as bad as it's going to be, right? Right now, if you're a passport bro, you're just an early adopter. You know what an early adopter is? Anybody who invests, all my investors out here. All my brothers that invest, you just an early adapter, right? While everybody's still playing console, you out here on the PC, right? You already see, oh, the gaming console, just a PC. But with a PC, I can be able to do so much more, right? So why buy, why buy a gaming console? But then you see dudes lining up to buy a gaming console, right? It's the same, it's the same mentality. Why are these dudes back in second generation uh, thought processes? dealing with women like these what <laughs> what <laughs> yo i'm gonna say it again man listen if you dealing with these women today man it's tough but you are an early adapter if you even on content like this right if you even looking at content like this you are an early adapter your mindset is different you're already absorbing different thoughts different perspectives you're starting to understand okay economics of things the worldwide globe etc like i said man it's up to you you're already winning but they want you to lose by and large the powers that be want you to lose they don't want you to get a w bro hmm? they don't want you on a win streak they want you on this this is what they want right here started initial conversation truth is that the good guys are done with dating How old are you? Uh, 28. Let's say I wanted to take you out. How much do you expect me to spend on a first date? Depends where we're going. What's your expectation, though? I don't really have any. Stop the cap. <laughs> so I could hit you up and say, hey, let's go to Burger King and get slushy? No, no, no. No, I mean, at least, like, you know, nice five-star type of restaurant and then depending on how it goes, depending on how I like you, and that all kind of goes with me even saying yes for a, for a first actual date. So that, that takes a toll. Okay, so five-star restaurant in Miami, how much is that gonna range? Depends how many drinks you'll be ordering. Average. Um, anywhere from 
300 to 800 maybe jump start yeah so <laughs> realistically you expect a man to spend 800 dollars on a first day yeah listen man listen closely listen closely man if a woman is telling you to do these different things and she can't even give you these are not women of yesteryear man these aren't the women that you think they are I, uh, the thing that destroys most men is women not understanding their power their the, the, the abilities that they have right if you out here playing around i'm telling you bro you're going to get destroyed out here man this right here is a perfect example of why i say as a man like what are your options right but then once you understand your options you know your options are limitless the passport bros in its infancy i still believe it's in its infancy that's why i'm gonna still talk about it because i've been a password bro going way back you can look at my old videos i said all oh, this was going to happen way back then i just wasn't making content because like i said if you're a password bro you're already thinking about stuff in real life you're doing things in real life right all of my intelligent brothers all my brothers out here who, who put in work work on them oil rigs all that stuff Whatever blue collar, white collar, I'm not even gonna say, I'm not gonna disparage any dude from the type of work he get accomplished. But any dude that put consistency and does hard work and got discipline, bro, you think that you're gonna get rewarded, but you're not. Right? This right here, this right here can be your reward, man. All right? But it's 100% it's depending upon you at the end of the day. 100% what you want to be what you want to do how you want to get it done right these things man I, I say again every time every single time when i look at this i'm like damn they really got us in a trick bag man they got a lot of men in a trick bag and it's unfortunate it's unfortunate man I, I wish it wasn't the case but it is a lot of us are in a trick bag man and we can't get out our own way this is why I make content. I may not get hundreds of thousands, man, but it's not about that, man. I'm trying to get my guys who, who mess with me because it's going to be different guys for everybody. As long as there's dudes talking about this, helping dudes grow, right? And we talk about other things outside of this, but these are just old concepts that I wanted to get out there. You are a winner, bro. You getting W's, man, every day. All right? So don't let nobody tell you that you're not winning, bro, because you are. Every time you over here making moves, no matter how small, do some of, oh, if it's 50K, 50K is 1%, bro. I'm gonna always repeat that, man. And I'm gonna make a video about economics and stuff like that, too. We're gonna get there. Like I said, I'm just filling out stuff right now, man. You know what I'm saying? But if you support your boy, y'all know what to do, man. Y'all know how to, y'all know how to move. I'm not messing with dummies, man. Hit the like button at least. Support your boy, right? Support this type of content and brothers who make this type of content. Support them. Especially your small creators, man. Like I said, I'm a small creator just like all the rest of them. Just doing my thing, man. Doing my part. Talk about the things I like to talk about. Right? Overall, man, I appreciate it. We're going to be coming out with some fire content on the way. <laughs> man, I can't, I can't wait, man. I'm, I can't wait for, 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 for. I got some content that's on the way. Um, one major, major thing. Right, if you a dude who watched this video to its completion and you got to this point, I only want dudes who got to this point in the video. If you got to this point in the video, I want to talk to you. Alright? I'm here to deal with brothers who like mine. Okay? Y'all see the content. Y'all see how it looks, man. I want people who might be interested in coming on, having conversations. Right? Trust me. Listen, I'm telling you guys right now. I'm the best. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to go too hard, too far. I'm the best. Alright? I'm the best. Hit me up on my email. I'm going to have it in the description box. Y'all can see it there. Hit me up on my email, man. Hit me up on Instagram. I just made it not too long ago. Like I said, I, didn't be, I haven't been using any of these things, man, because I've been doing stuff in real life. But hit me up if you're going to get some things accomplished, man. I want to deal with greatness, bro, because I already know I'm going to be at in the year two. Making stuff like this, looking like this, everything, how I make my stuff, being elite. Because we, cause like I said, we a password, bro. We want the best. Y'all going to see, man. Holla at your boy and know what it is. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Let's get it.